<laughs> Got it. Who won? <laughs> Who won today, Adam? I think Robin. I, won. I think I won. I, won. I think I won. I had two. All right. All right. Hopefully, hopefully we'll look a little bit better than that. I saw the last row. I was like, ah. um, yeah. So look, um, you know, we've had a good week of practice. Looking forward to going up to uh, Green Bay and playing against those guys. It's a good, good team that we're playing. Uh, it'll be a hell of a challenge for us. So, but we're excited about it. Don't all start at once. Dennis, um, just when it comes to like all the, the sort of uh, motion. I can't even stop the Green Bay does. What's, what's the biggest, uh, what's the biggest challenge? Exactly what you just said. Just yeah. make sure you put your eyes in the right spot, yeah. you know. Um, and uh, certainly being one step ahead of the offense, understanding, you know, you're, you know, there's a lot of shifts and motions and things of that nature that they do, and so you've got to anticipate that a little bit. Especially with like uh, some of the like match coverage stuff. Like, does that impact that? Yeah. Look, I mean, everything gets impacted when the offense is changing the picture on you. So. Um, you know, look, we, we've always said that, you know, every time the offense is uh, breaking the huddle or telling you a story, you're reading the book. So um, we got to make sure we're paying attention to those guys coming out of the huddle, see how they get lined up, see who's in what spots, anticipate whatever shift or motion they may give us, and then, uh, you know, be able to anticipate the uh, potential play concepts they do out of it. I know second game in a row you're facing a quarterback that doesn't have much experience in the NFL. Yes, maybe what, one more game before the season compared to Bryce Young, but what are the similarities between the parent for Jordan Love and Bryce Young in that sense? Nah, well, I wouldn't say there's a, a ton of similarities. Um, you know, obviously a totally different offense. Uh, the concepts that they do are different. Um, you know, um, we've, we've obviously had an opportunity to, um, you know, we've played against uh, Jordan in the preseason we got a chance to practice against those guys last year so there's a little bit of familiarity with the player and yet um, you know we'll have let's we'll see how it plays out on on Sunday um, what I do know is that he's leading the league in passer rating right now he's got six t touchdowns and no interceptions so he's playing at a, uh, a really high level um, and they're executing and, and so we'll have a work cut out for us you spoke during training camp obviously a phrase like draft and develop but also during training camp with competition battles, like nothing's confirmed. And is that kind of the case even during the season, especially given Kendra Miller's opportunity to step into a big role? I mean, like competing. Yeah, look, we're, look, we have to prove ourselves every day we go out there, whether it be in practice or in the games. And uh, this is a highly competitive business that we're in, and um, you have to perform and perform at an acceptable level. Um, and so, you know, I think our guys understand that, that uh, they're held to a certain standard um, and they're expected to go out to play to a certain standard. And so uh, that's exactly what we expect. And we've also, you know, Taysom has been a topic of conversation just because of production last week, specifically as a true tailback. Um, is that something that can continue and can work well with Tony and, and uh, Kendrick in the backfield? Um, yeah, look. We've used and will continue to use Taysom in a lot of different areas. Um, and yet, you know, I don't see us getting him 20-something touches in a game because this is a long season. You know, it's not about just week two or week three. You know, um, you know a lot of these running backs get beat up in our league. You know, and, and, and so uh, trying to utilize him in a way that allows us to have some success uh, and yet you know ultimately we want to have taste him around for a 17 game season too so um, I think it'll it'll always be part of what we do it'll always be part of our package um, and there'll be some times where it's utilized a little bit more sometimes where it maybe in utilized quite as much so each game plan is different I mean do you go in with a, with a number in mind or is it kind of just a I wouldn't say it's game? an exact number you know um, you know we have a we have we have plays, you know, and and we have a certain volume of plays where he's in a number of different spots, um, and then you know you kind of see how the game's playing out. Um, obviously, he was effective with what we were doing with him in the game last week, so there was a few more opportunities. So um, we'll play each game out as it goes, and um, but he'll be a big part of what we do. And even when he's not getting the ball. He's affecting the defense. So it's not always about 
you know, who gets the touch. Um, you know, him being out on the field affects the defense. Uh, Joe Barry mentioned that you know, having Taysom Hill or having to prepare for a team with Taysom Hill means that you kind of have to prepare for two different offenses. Is that something you've ever had to prepare for in your time as a defensive coordinator? And how unique is that to be able to present that challenge? Well, look, I think I think it's an advantage to us. I think it's a challenge, you know, on the defense uh, when you've got two different types of quarterbacks that play uh, in a game. And so, yeah, you have to have a plan when one player's in at the quarterback position. You have to have a plan when a Another player's in at the quarterback position. Uh, I think our deal is a little bit unique in that, you know, Taysom lines up as a runner, he lines up as a tight end, he'll line up as a receiver, he lines up as a quarterback. Um, I think we haven't tried him at offensive line yet. I don't plan on doing that, but there's a lot of different things that he can do. Sticking with the uh, offensive line, I think both first halves and the first two games, it's been the protections from the others first. But what you guys do is just throughout the game. Well, look, I, you know, I think in the first game there were some things that we that we had to change up from a protection standpoint, um, uh, and yet in, in in the second game, you know, um, there was just a couple times where where they they won, you know, and sometimes that happens in our league. So uh, go on to the next play. Let's move on and, and uh, let's be better the next play. So um, I don't really look at it as a big issue. Obviously, you know, we got to protect the quarterback certainly. Um, you know, but uh, uh, you know, I didn't see it as a as a protection plan issue. Probably a little bit more of an execution issue. What stands out about Green Bay's front? Or, you know, their front. Or yeah, look, I think um, you know, you know, particularly when you think about the, the the size and the and the and the speed and the length on the edges, I think is is uh, uh, one thing that I think is 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 uh, you know pretty evident when you watch them play. Um, you know, athletic at the linebacker position, specifically with Quay Walker. Um, you know, and 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 then uh, you know up front, they've they've done it overall. I think they've done a pretty good job. I think one of the things that they do really well is I think they do rush the passer well. I think they create some challenges with their with their looks. Um, you know, and I think they can get pressure on the quarterback. Kendra was asked yesterday. You know, given the opportunity that presented itself with Jamal going out. Last week he was kind of ready, but didn't go, and now he's even more eager to play in a, you know, a stadium that he's grown up watching. How, how ready do you think he is, not only as a, a violent runner, but working with this offensive scheme? Well, look, I mean, we're gonna find out on Sunday, right? You know, um, he's got to go out there and perform. And so, um, look, he's he's prepared himself all week. He's gotten himself ready, mentally, physically, emotionally, to play the game. Um, and, and now it's time to, you know, to go out there and perform. And that's really, you know, that's ultimately what we're all judged on. Did uh, something happen to Paulson that looked like he was kind of... He's dealing with a hamstring. Yeah. So I expect he'll be questionable uh, for the game. Is that from the game or did that happen in practice? And it came up in practice. Okay. Thanks, Steve. All good? All right. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank Appreciate it.